So I talked a little bit about Think Green Alliance, and I'm going to, so you don't get tired of my voice, I'm going to call our, our uh, VP of Business Development, Kim Gardner, to talk a little bit about the alliance and how it got started. And uh, again, the, the, the main catalyst or the starting point of this was our customers coming to us and saying, you guys are doing such a good job in terms of the IT aspect. We can see the gains. We see the cost savings. We see the advantage of virtualization. What else we can, do, can we do from an environmental perspective? So I'll turn it over to Kim. Thank you, Jean-Jerome. And uh, hi, everyone. So um, with the Think Green Alliance, um, it, it got started uh, last year in March. And uh, what we saw was happening was we were advising our clients on how to green their IT operations. And uh, many times uh, they would come to us and look for, for other avenues in which they could, they could implement green strategies. Um, so we started looking to partners and, and other clients and, and other resources that we had. Um, such as uh, Bullfrog Power and Zero Footprint, which Jean Jerome mentioned, uh, BOMA, which is the Building Owners and, and Manufacturers Association of Canada. And um, we decided that uh, we would all get together and, and try to form uh, a group that could actually uh, help other businesses to go green and also kind of educate on, on what they were doing and, and, and different strategies uh, across multi-industries. Um, so since then, uh, we've, we've uh, been able to have 41 members join us, and we've successfully completed 15 intercompany projects. Um, so really getting the collaborative aspect there and being able to, to offer an end-to-end -end green solution for businesses that are, are looking to go green. Um, <clears throat> we've also organized and participated in over 20 or, uh, educational and promotional events. Um, one such uh, event was... Uh, an, uh, a, a seminar that we did with Miller Thompson Law Firm, and we were able to to look at at all the the parts of of putting together a green RFP, which is something that's going to be very important in the coming years in terms of of looking at green strategies from the very beginning when you're when you're formalizing the plans and and looking at what kind of uh, of of uh, technologies and and other uh, you know resources that you're going to be bringing into your business. Um, We've also been very active in terms of co-writing of articles between the members and really looking at kind of what are our expertise, our individual expertise, and bringing them together to, to be able to, uh, to educate and, and be able to uh, bring the people together to, uh, you know, kind of give a, a, a more succinct overview of, of what uh, uh, different ways that, that members can go green. So uh, I'll just hand it back over to jean -Jerome. So So in terms of the... Uh in terms of basically the, the alliance and what it's focusing on, uh, the version 1.0 of, of this alliance is focusing on integration of environmental innovation into business plan for small and medium businesses. Collaboration between the alliance members, as I've outlined, in terms of special projects and events. Quantitative methods. So now looking at multidisciplinary quantitative methods, tools, software, test and measurement equipment to basically be able to properly measure a lot of the contributing variables in that sustainable total cost of ownership. Impact of actual environmental practices on microeconomic performance. So looking at, again, quantifying what is the economic benefit and environmental benefit of applying green strategies. 